All right, we are back. And that ornamental shell should open. Do you have a light? It's pitch dark inside and you can't see without one. If you're ready, let's go. How many push it from the left? I don't know. <clears throat> what about all these curtains? Man, I can open up the curtains. I don't even know, there's no point to this. I'm gonna leave that one closed. Because it's like, that's to someone with OCD would like kill themselves over that. Yeah, Servi's right. Agonim, or whatever the fuck your name is. Alright. So let's enter this secret area, which is basically, I guess, the actual first dungeon. It's all dark, man. I can't see. Oh, this rat. These rats are annoying, but they sometimes drop a lot of money like they just did. And I told you about these before. We can light these with our, uh, not that button. Why do I, why did I hit that button? We can take our lamp here. Oh, what? I, I'm just, the buttons I'm just not used to yet. All right, so that'll give us a little bit of light here for a little bit. Give us some more light if, if you really need it. We got more light, but the other one's gonna go out in like a couple seconds. Yeah. Let's continue along in this dungeon. No light, but I can help with that. Oh, we got some ropes. Yes, these are not snakes, these are ropes. I don't know, man. Legend of Zelda. <laughs> Legend of Zelda does what it wants, and if you wanna, if it, if it wants to call snakes ropes, it can do it. Nothing in this room, let's continue along. Oh, I tried to hit my, oh crap, I'm just, combat is not my forte. <laughs> yes, such hard combat here. I'm just running into everything now, basically. Oh, see, it's just, I'm so good at this game. <laughs> Every single way. Alright, so we can see a little bit. Oh, we got a chest. Open the chest. I feel like my con I'm just getting used to control still. Well, actually, one thing I was stupid was I was using my analog stick on my 360 controller. I just for kind of forgot, and I just started using that. And, uh, yeah, I'm trying to... Yeah, that's, that's the map. Nothing much here yet. Gotta get, gotta get some light. So I can, you know, find the keyhole on the store. Um, after passing through these sewers, we'll be very close to the sanctuary. Look at all those rats. I bet there's some rupees in them, too. Couple rupees. A red rupee. Yeah, these, these rats are really good at dropping a lot of rupees. It helps you, uh, get some early good uh, amount of rupees here. Oh. I thought the... Oh, come on. You're supposed to stop and let me get the first attack. Oh, I hate how the pots just go right over them, I guess. It makes sense because they're rats. Okay, there we go. I was about to say, I thought you could still throw shit at the rats. There's nothing over here. The only way to go is up. see this map yeah you, it actually it fills out as we're walking through it since there is no it has a separate map for this area so even though we found the map earlier this is like a technically a different area that's why it's technically a dungeon or whatever but I don't think there's actually a map for to pick up you know as an item though I don't think there is one for here doubt it <clears throat> actually I know there's one. Oh, hey we found a key that should come in handy Oh, we got some keys. Let's go ahead and light that. Oh, we didn't really need it. Oh, well. Just in case, man. We, well, that's all we really can use magic for anyways right now is just uh, lighting those. So, it doesn't really matter. It's kind of supposed to... Every it's, The game basically expects you to use up all your magic in this dungeon for some reason. Of like, oh yeah, you have tons of these torches. You're going to light every single one of them. And I want to... Oh my gosh, just come here. I just want to kill all the enemies, and plus you have five rubies for me. Alright, let's continue up. 
This is a new looking area. Now it's not. Uh, the sewers anymore doesn't look like at least. Looks more like a, uh, what? Did I hit the, okay, I hit the, st the select button. I was like, what, what did I hit that made that happen? I must kill these rats. Oh, that was a ter oh, Jesus. Now we have the warning beep. Already, first dungeon warning beep. Pull the switch over there. Okay, I better not die. Oh, God. <laughs> don't. Don't. Okay, thank God. Okay, 20 rupees. That's pretty nice of you. So I think you want to do this one first, because this one's not the one that works. Uh -uh. Oh, yeah, I really shouldn't have pulled that one. Okay, just get out <laughs> before we die. Ugh. Oh. Luckily, I know it. I know it's in that chest. <clears throat> Princess Zelda, you are safe. Is this your doing, Navy? Yes, it was Navy who helped me escape from the dungeon when I was captive. Yes, <clears throat> said. I don't even know what the the other line started with. Said, once I have finished with you, the final one, the seal of the wise men will open. Navy, you must not let the, the land of Hyrule fall into the wizard's clutches. If he releases the seal of the seven wise men, evil power will overwhelm this land. Before that happens, before it's too late, destroy the wizard before he can before he destroys all of Hyrule. Yes, I'm adding words. You can do it. You can. I sense that a mighty wi evil force guides the wizard's actions and augments his magical power. The only weapon potent enough to defeat the wizard is the legendary Master Sword. It is said to be, it is said that the village elder is descendant of one of the seven wise men. Maybe he can tell you more. I will mark his house on your map. But watch your every move. I am certain that the castle soldiers will be looking for you now. I will hide Princess Zelda here. Do not worry. Seek the elder. Do you understand? Yes. Oh, we're about to die. Luckily. We got a brand new heart. So yeah, basically for completing that kind of pseudo dungeon, we uh, got a free heart. And we also freed Zelda from the evil tyranny of Aghanim. Oh, beautiful open world, oh, overworld music. <clears throat> I had this as my ringtone for a long time. Oh, hey, a fairy. Cut you up, soldier. Alright, so from this point, we are above the castle, basically, right now, if you can think of it like that. Kind of helps you get your bearings, whatever. Um, yeah, I don't have the Pegasus boots. I was like, how do I run? I remember I can run, and then I was like, what? No. Oh, come on. I don't know how this is. So you kind of like, once you get hit once, like, it's for me, it's like all over, because you then have to worry about, uh, like, you know correcting yourself and lining your, like, yourself up to get the hit again, and the enemy most likely is walking through you as you're trying to do all that. And you have to hit this guy at, a, at, a, at like a very certain angle, you know, to get that hit, because you might hit a sword. We're just going to head straight over here to Kakariko Village. Oh. Hidden soldiers in the grass. I know that does something, but I don't know. Yeah, we'll, we'll, I'm, I'm relearning this game, basically, as I'm going through this Let's Play a bit. Uh, let's see. Wanted. This is the criminal who kidnapped Zelda. Call a soldier if you see him. So, it's probably not best to talk to everyone in the village. Probably talk to uh, people on a, on a need-to-talk-to basis, basically. Who? Oh, it's you, Navy. What can I do for you, young man? The Elder... What, Master Sword? Well, I don't remember the details exactly, but long ago, a prosperous people known as the Hylia inhabited this land. Legends tell of many treasures that the Hylia hid throughout the land. The Master Sword, a mighty blade forged against those with evil hearts, is one of them. People say it is now sleeping deep in the forest. So, at this point in the game, I actually went looking for the, when I was a kid, I, w I went looking for the Master Sword, and I found it. Problem is, you can't do anything, you can't do anything with it. It just sits there. You can't pull it out of the pedestal, so it's kind of pointless to go for it at this point. 
shocker, spoiler here. It's this Legend of Zelda game where you get the Master Sword. Sorry, guys. <laughs> All right, we'll head down here because I know there's some stuff down here we can get. Parent, I remember this. This I think this comes in play like a lot, a lot later or something. But this house used to be a hideout for a gang of thieves. What was the leader's name? Oh yeah, his name was Blind. He ate a bright light a lot. All right, good to know. Head down here to the basement where we can. Uh, eh. It's kind of best to come back here at a later point. I'm gonna get some bombs first so we can open the wall and stuff. Might as well do it all at once, you know. But yeah, you saw it's a block, it's a puzzle down there to get all four of those treasure chests, basically. And there's a little hole over here we can jump down into. Bombs. Best way to get bombs in the game, really. Get some good rupees. Jump down here and exit. Yeah, pretty much. So, you don't want to talk to that person. I think she is uh, someone that will call the guards. I want to head down here, though, first. Might as well. Because we can use our newfound... Right, well, I didn't want to use... Okay. I'm just hitting buttons now. <laughs> like, I hit a button and then it doesn't do what I want it to do. Even though it's basically the right button. So then I, like, immediately, like, okay, I need to hit, like, every other button. Let's do this. I don't even know. I don't know how that works, but... Bomb open here. Fucking rats. God damn you. I hate these enemies. Get a whole bunch of shit in here. Arrows? We don't have a bow yet. We're getting some arrows. Cut down all this grass. I'm not sure. I forget what's in. Okay, this is a shop, isn't it? Yeah, you can buy, you can buy the bombs here too if you don't want to get a bunch of free ones. <laughs> yeah. And then this kid here, you actually need... This is like the story point right here. Hey, Navy. <laughs> Elder, are you talking about the Grandpa? The Grandpa? Okay, but don't tell any of the bad people about this. He's hiding in the palace past the castle. I'll mark the spot on your map. <clears throat> so now we know where the Elder is that we need to find. He's on the map, of course. We can take a, take a peek. Take a gander. He's over there. <clears throat> Still have some more stuff to do here, though. I got plenty of rupees. I'm gonna catch you. No. I forget what that woman even is. I for, you know, it's I don't know. Let's go buy our first bottle. <clears throat> so this guy sells the bottle. Step right up and make your life complete. I've got one on sale for right now for the low price of 100 rupees. It's worth it. Magical bottle. Now, <laughs> I'll show you. No, 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 hold on. Hold on. I forget my the layout of this town, really. I thought that lady might have spotted me there, but she did Okay, where the heck am I uh, thinking? Uh, it's right here. Wait, no. Okay, no. I gotta go up. I know I paid 100 rupees. I got a pretty good deal on that magic bottle, man. Oh, let's see what's in here. Oh, Another magic bottle? I already got one of those. Oh, well. Yep, there's four magical bottles in this game, so uh, we gotta collect them all. You come here. Oh, Navy, the rumors say you kidnapped the princess, but I still trust you. What you got in your house, old lady? Bunch of chickens. Nothing I want. So let's see here. I'm trying to remember kind of what to do. I know there's definitely some heart pieces around this area. So now that we have the bombs, we can actually go back down here. Get what we need from down here. Pull up my timer here. Oh, we're running out of time. <laughs> 15 minute videos go by so fast. And I have also screwed up this right here. But, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next time.